Hello YouTube. Welcome from my stoop. <clears throat> yeah, uh, this is the first video after I went for an operation, except for the previous explanation one. And uh, I was this morning at the doctor and he is very happy that everything is what it should be and that everything is fixed. Um, I had uh, two hernias, one in my uh, umbilical cord area and one in my groin. Um, so yeah, being fixed. Uh, I can't run and I can't pick up heavy things but I can get on with my life uh, according to the doctor. So uh, yeah, so I'm glad to be back and thank you for all my friends and community uh, who wished me well and prayed and um, yeah um, I've said it many times um, but this is really a great community and um, I appreciate all of your support and uh, and comments and yeah just for for being friends although we haven't met each other most of us um, so yes um, I'm smoking one of my own blends which is a mer meridian base from GLPs with something else uh, in a Savinelli extra not supposed to be a very high level pipe but man every time I pick it up it is a good a good bowl um, What I want to touch on today is a kind of a video response on someone that I accidentally uh, found, uh, the pipe lawyer. I will link his uh, channel to you. Uh, I'm not sure whether uh, he ever saw my videos or uh, subscribed to my videos, but. Um, the pipe lawyer asked in one of his videos what is the difference between Balkan and English blend. Now, let me start by saying that that, that is probably one of the most difficult questions in the pipe community ever. And secondly, uh, I'm no professional or uh, uh, I mean, com compared me to uh, Gregory Peace or Ras Ulet or any of those guys, then I'm um, way, 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 way below in terms of knowledge and experience with tobaccos and the, different, the difference of tobaccos. But um, I'll just give you a a breakdown of what people say and then my opinion and then you can leave your opinion um, again if you search that term you will find plenty of articles but the the ones that I that I tend to uh, to cite or to find myself in alignment with is at least two the one is from Gregory Pease Gregory Pease uh, wrote an article and he says that he will from now on not call something English or Balkan because in his opinion some that, it, that is supposed to be English is actually Balka, Balkan and some that's supposed to be Balkan is English and you know brands and people use these terms um, as they wish so his final conclusion is he'll just call it Latakia uh, based which makes sense but I don't think that's the final answer then there was a guy uh, Bob Tate who wrote an article uh, also referring to to Gregory Peace's uh, article and he makes 
a very interesting point, which I tend to kind of agree. He says that, um, also he agrees that there's a huge uh, mixture and, uh, between these two uh, and how these two <coughs> names are being used. Uh, but he makes this, this one conclusion by saying, and I'm quoting here his article, it seems to me that the only classification for a Balkan blend would be the addition of oriental tobacco leaf varietals. Now, with other words, Turkish oriental or anything else. With other words, um, and the rest, you can go and read the rest of the article, but the, with other words, the, the, in my mind, I would then say, in my opinion, that an English blend is a blend of Latakia and Virginia and there might be other things in there also Burley uh, whatever, Yenzi, like the old Dublin etc. While Balkan will have probably or should have uh, Latakia Virginia, but also uh, Oriental Turkish varietals mixture. Not to say that an English should not have uh, Orientals, but maybe the the amount of. So a Balkan blend would be predominantly Oriental Turkish and Latakia while English would be predominantly Virginia, Latakia, uh, in that category. I don't know. That, that, is, that is how, how I classify my, my tobacco. Although, I, yeah, most of them are, are in both categories. But yeah, I think um, without giving the final answer, because I don't think we will have a final answer until someone put a standard down and write it down and register it as a standard. I don't think we do have a standard, but I would, I would be satisfied if I could, if, if I could um, define it for myself this way. Balkan would be predominantly Latakia, Virginia uh, and Orientals while the English would be predominantly Latakia and Virginia and might have a little bit of, of, uh, of Orientals in there. Um, apparently, the, the confusion of the terms, or apparently the Balkan blend name originated from the from the Balkan Subrani and then the remakes since then but uh, because everyone you know wanted to be as close as possible to the Balkan Subrani original uh, it became kind of a uh, a code word for good tobacco or tobacco in that class uh, while it should have been just be in, an English uh, blend. But yeah, so uh, what do you guys think? Uh, there's a few other uh, pipe smokers who's, who mentions other stuff like um, Burleys and, and all that, but I think um, to me you know I would I would settle with this uh, with this article from uh, the pipe magazine written by uh, Bob Tate and that one sentence oriental tobacco leaf varietals in a in a Balkan so thank you for watching and please subscribe
and thank you for all your uh, kind words and uh, support. I hope you have a very nice day and weekend that's coming up. Enjoy a day, enjoy smoking and uh, subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye bye. Some interesting comments at the bottom of that article, by the way. I forgot to put to switch off the camera, so <laughs> bye bye.